if you were to want to 3D print this part, you just right click down here on whatever part you want to 3D print. Uh, it needs to be a solid. And you say export. And then you can pick the defaults. You can go in and read about all the different options you have there, but I typically just take the defaults and then save it whatever part name you want. And that's that. Um, so that's for 3D printing, and then you could print it out on any, you know, really any 3D printer that takes STL files. Uh, the next common one that we do here at the Makerspace is to uh, laser cut this. So you might want to just cut out the shape um, using wood or plastic or something like that with the laser cutter. So to do that, it's a little bit uh, more involved, not a big deal, but just a couple more steps. So you first need to do the plus sign here and then create a drawing and just say OK. And then just escape out of all that. So I'm just hitting escape a bunch of times. And then you just highlight all these uh, lines and text and delete them. And then you might have to delete that. And then you just want a blank sheet. And if you're doing a bunch of, uh, bunch of different types of drawings, you might want to just copy this. You could duplicate it and then you know, have it for multiple. Now that you have the blank one, use it for multiple uh, output uh, exports. Um, but here I'm just going to do one and I'm going to, so I hit the insert here, insert view, and then insert there. And then I'm going to do the tutorial final part. And then the most important thing here, just look at your options here is scale and just make sure that's one to one. And then once you've gotten that view, it depends on your planes, the way you've oriented it, uh, which view you'll get first. Uh, but once you have that, it's trying to give me the other views, and I just hit Escape. And then that's the view that you want. Sometimes by default it shows the sketches or other things in there, and so right-click on uh, that box there, and you can mess with these settings like Show and Hide Sketches. Like I could show the sketches if I wanted to, um, and I'm just going to undo that. But that's where if you have sketches that are showing up or other entities that you don't want, you're going to have to tinker around with those options, but it shouldn't take long, and this is what you'll get in the end. Um, so once you have that, similar for, to for 3D printing, you do the right click down here, and then export. And then again, in this case, instead of an STL file, you're doing a PDF. Um, and these are, you can just take all the defaults, you know, where it's going to store it. And then it's exporting it. And then there's your PDF file. So from there, you can open. From here, you can then open it up in Illustrator. Uh, you can change line types. Let's say you, you were to want to you know, have this be rastered or do different things, then you have a vector uh, image here. That's what this is. And you can modify it in Illustrator.